Wait, what? I only have one GP in the bank, but I've got 24 hours to make as much GP as possible. Here we go. I've only got one Gillinor penny, so I'm going to spend it wisely. One GP for one needle. What am I going to do? Use the needle on the rewards guardian at Guardians of the Rift, and it changes into an abyssal needle. This is going to be central to my plans. The goal is to make as much money as possible and beat my attempt from two years ago making 407 mil, which is going to be pretty difficult, but I'm going to do a variety of new and old methods. Some you'll have never seen before. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, picking up logs on a max main for money. Down bad. All right, let's get to the G and start our mission. Logs out, essence in. We're going to be doing some rune crafting here. The abyss will take me to the rune crafting altar of my choice. And there is a choice because there are so many runes which make good money these days. I had to choose blood. This altar just looks too good, man. Sell the blood runes and now I should be able to get started. To get some quick GP, I'm going to be making wrath runes. They're not the most expensive, but the lap time is shorter so I can make more per hour. Sell the wrath runes for money and I am going to be buying myself a little set up to go back to the abyss with oh from scratch but you got your untrade walls fine i'll get them myself this time there's something so nice about doing from scratch on runescape look at me i'm an absolute scrub again trying to get my pouches back and there's number one the small pouch that's what i'm after i need to get four pouches in total medium hey the large pouch and the giant pouch i'm done you can slay these things really quickly that was so good now i've got the needle and all four pouches i can combine them and create one colossal pouch look at this thing it's incredible it holds 40 essence which is more than all the other pouches combined and essence are super cheap so i can go and start rune crafting right now i've never actually used this pouch the full invent of essence just disappears into it that is gonna be so nice and i can get crafting it so yeah 20 minutes set up i'm gonna see how much money i can make in the first hour look at the speed of those clicks mate i'm on fire no you mother... I knew that was gonna happen, man. <laughs> what am I doing? I love it. There's a guy in front of me, so I've got motivation to try and lap him every time. Lol, around the corner. It's fine. It's easy. One hour in and I'm already over a mil. There's really not too many things you can do that with from scratch. Plus, I got the pouches. Right, so I'm making the most of my pouch and I stayed for a second hour. Two hours of runecrafting wrath runes. Bear in mind, I don't have the outfit and I'm nowhere near peak efficiency, but I managed to get 8,700 runes wrath runes which overall is 2.7 mil pretty much in two hours i'm happy with that start here give me the money money right now it's time to invest the profits into an old favorite of my lava scales into lava shards now because i've got the worldly diaries done i actually get more scales than the average person when i crush one of these which means you do get a tidy profit and you also get a side dish of rsi All right, that wasn't quite as good as I thought it was going to be. I'm on essentially 3.4 mil now, and it took... 20 minutes, so it's pretty quick, about 2 mil an hour, decent prices. I just needed some stars to cash for what comes next. In the jungle, we're going to be making some money. About 4 mil per hour, and you probably have never seen somebody do this before. Sanfu serums are a really high demand potion for anything PVM, and one of the ingredients is snake weed. The only place to get it is in these marshy vines, and as you probably know from jungle potion, it takes absolutely ages to get one snake weed. Look at this. My character takes forever. But what if I tick manipulate with a herb and tar to get the snake weed? Well, it actually works and you can collect them super quick, which means that I can stack up on these and get the margin from the Sanfus and make bank. Super simple. I just hop worlds and then I start the cycle with the herb and the tar which means I can pick them up every three ticks. All right, 1720 start. Let's see how quickly I can get one inventory of 24 snake weeds. <laughs> All right, inventory done, and that is just over two minutes. Two minutes and 10 seconds for 24 of these. And that means I can collect over 600 snake weeds an hour, which are untradeable and the profit maker on the Sanfu serums. Okay, I'm done. That's enough. I've got a thousand snake weeds in the bank. What is it with good money makers and vigorous wrist exercise? Wait, wait, what, what? All right, never mind. I forgot about D-Grime, the spell which cleans all my herbs 
and saves me some pain. That is 1,000 snake weeds collected. And now it's time to turn these into Sanfu serums. The main ingredients for the Sanfu serum are nail base nails, which are 16K, and restores, which are 15K. But that's only a 31K cost for a 40K potion. That essentially means that every snake weed I've collected is worth 9K. Remember, I can get 600 per hour. That's like 5 mil per hour. But there is some time to make the potion, so it's a bit less. Mate, another ingredient for this potion is unicorn horn dust, and it just doesn't die. I'm going to actually gonna have to crush my own horns what is this i bought a thousand for 200k and this guy crushes them for 50 each so that's another 50k on there i'm actually gonna see if there's a good margin for this dust because i literally couldn't buy any for 10k there could be some high offers in here so yep okay what Okay, I just made bank. I guess we're going and doing that again. <laughs> Wesley's got the turbo wrists. How is he crushing a thousand that quickly? What a guy. Please yourself a huge. No, they don't. Okay, well, I can just use those for my potions anyway. Dust, weed, and toenails. What a potion. I had to settle for a little bit of a lower price on the Sanfu series, but that's a lot of money. How much am I up to now? 14 mil in just over five hours. When I was researching, what I saw baffled me. Ranger boots are 45 million GP, and eclectics aren't even that expensive. I think I'm going to have to go and do some medium clue scrolls. I'm going to gamble. I'm trying to go big in this 24 hours. Here we go. I'm pretty much going all in on eclectic implings. Even if I don't get the rangers, I still should get some money back from the jars and the clue scroll loots anyway. So it's not quite all in. It's time for some medium clue scrolls. They're going to be speedy, I hope. My house is pretty much maxed out, so I should be able to get everywhere in the game. I'm actually going to pay 99k for the diary cape. I think it's worth the investment. Like, look at all these teleports around the game. That's so many. And this book. It's just the MVP of Zia right here. I'm showing restraint. I'm only spam opening five eclectics at a time. And there's a medium. Perfect. All right, let's see how many mediums I can get done in one hour. It's 1845 right now. And the casket. Yes, it's the casket. Good. Nice. I'm actually bringing some with me so I can open them at my last location so I don't have to waste time banking. But that's 24 an hour. There's no way. How has EVscape found me in RuneScape? What is this, bro? I respect that. I really want to see 100 caskets, so I'm investing some more funds and some more eclectics here. And there we go. 100 mediums it took. Just over four hours, I want to say. I can't really remember. 100 caskets and the rate for rangers is one in 200 and something. So there's a decent chance that I supercharged the 24 hours right now. Oh. Oh, master clue scroll. I actually think that is worth doing as well, though. Decent money. I've got the casket. Please say that was worth it. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, come on. It paid off Ranger Boots. There's so much money. And I can get more. 58 clues left. I actually could get another pair. Five, four, three, two, one. No. Ah, I'm actually rich. It's taken ages to sell all this stuff, but 52 mil, not too shabby, the new total. Forgive me, I'm about to sin. Uh, I'm leaving these offers in for a bit and logging out. Uh, 24 hours of being logged in. I just want to see how this goes. Absolutely unforgivable. That looks so good. I think it's going to be big profit here. The Malediction and Odium Shards make powerful wards, and the only way to create them is to go into the wilderness, and this is a job that nobody wants to do because you have to risk them all. So I'm going to do it, and hopefully there is some nice profit to be made here. What's this going to say? I'm just casually risking pretty much 13 mil in these. All I've got to do is chuck the shards into the volcano, no time at all, and it turns them into a shield. 13 mil into 18 mil. Yeah, this is crazy. I don't think any of those prices are accurate, but this definitely will give me some profit. Same again for all the odium shards. All right, I'm going to chuck these into the grand exchange and then see where I'm at. I'm going to slightly overpay for the shard ones just to finish off the other shields. And I'm done. There's obviously no need to bring all the shards with you at once, but... I'm all about that fast money. 24 hours, time's ticking. Buying them in for min, 9.7 mil, plus the bank, 57 mil. That is so nice. Pretty much made 5 mil in no time at all, though. One of the best money makers in RuneScape is PKing. You don't normally see me do it, but I'm going to give it a shot. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. If I die, it's probably all over, isn't it? 
Yeah. No cheating. I had to get my cape back. I'm not leaving until I get a decent PK kill. But for now, I'm just going to murder the first guy I see. I just need to kill someone to get started. You'll do, my friend, and you're dead. What is this game? The bad PKs go north to the dragon, so surely I should be able to find myself a feast at the Dark Beast. Come on, Skull. Skull on me. Please? Oh, he's low level. Oh, he did it! He went for it! Let's go, mate! The only thing is, I'm just not that experienced at fighting with a full inventory of bruise. It's a completely different style of fight to, like, LMS or anything like that. There's no way. Oh, let's go! That's huge! That's actually, like, instantly... A kill. What is going on? Mate, PK is easy, bro. What's this going to be like? 40 mil? 32 mil. What? Okay, this is just too good. <laughs> Before I lose my bank PKing, I'm switching over to anti PKing. I've got the crossbow AGS G more ballista setup. It's going to work very well, I hope. It's going to be consistent money from the revs, and then I don't have to hop around looking for PKers. They come to me. What are you doing here? Bro, wait, this is my first opportunity. <coughs> Great start there. I'm going to stick to rev orcs for now because I think there'll be less experienced PKers hopping here, so they'll be more open to getting anti-rushed. I forgot about this beast. The rev boss, let's go. Guaranteed 500k or one mil emblem. It's so good. Man, this guy, he's just been on me the whole time. My kill, nice. Okay, emblem. Is that one mil or 500k? Let's find out. One mil bag in no time at all. Revs is actually crazy. I'm going to graduate to dark beast when I've got the blue skull surge. It means I get more damage and accuracy for 15 minutes after killing the rev boss. He's actually going to attack me, isn't he? Okay, well, this is kind of what I want. Despair fakey. And yeah, goodbye. 1.3 mil, probably worth it. Come on, TVB. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. No. No, don't attack. Oh my god. I'm in a weird position where I want to be attacked by PKs. Nah, man. There's so many of these Donnies about. Right, let's lure him away from the action so they don't see that we've got an ADS. <laughs> No way that guy had 3 mil. Is that a VLS? What the hell? I'm on the bounty world. Oh my god, I just wasted that. I'm so bad. How long can I pretend to be AFK? Okay, finally he got the TV. I can't see, baby, I can't see. There's actually no way. <laughs> uh, nothing to see here. Ah, this hurts. Oh, that could have been something. <laughs> that, yeah, that could have been something if I vengeed, if I G-mold, and if I was good. <laughs> Oh, that could have been it. I hate this game. I love this game. What? Ooh, that was huge. Wait, how is this so... Oh, the new god sword. Oh, okay then. I'll take it. <laughs> For all the chances, finally. Okay, eight hours left, and I want to see what one hour of revs really looks like. This gear is not for PKing, I promise. It's for defensive purposes only. Oh, well, maybe it's for a little bit of PKing. Yeah, <laughs> cheers for the world, my guy. So I start off with the buff, and I got a unique. That's perfect. All right, let's have a chat about something while I kill these revs. Gilinor Game Season 3 has started filming, and I've got a funny feeling nobody's gonna like me. No idea why. So in preparation, 
edition, I'm taking a negotiation and conflict course on Skillshare. I think it's really going to help me bring out the best version of myself. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes to choose from for anyone that loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and gain new skills. And that's why I love that they're a partner of the channel. We can all get some IRL XP together and you can even do it while playing RuneScape. No way, I just got that. An ancient crystal, my first rev drop, man. Whether you want to increase your skill set for your professional life or just explore a new hobby, there are classes launching every week just for you. The first thousand people to use the link in the description or my code will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Oh, look at it. Oh, ancient effigy. That's actually the eight mil one, nice. Second maledictus of the one hour and I get an ancient totem, perfect. In one hour, I managed to kill 200 rev orcs and two rev bosses, which means if you focus, revs is well over six mil per hour. I'm gonna test half an hour at the night and it's pretty much the same, but more dangerous. I'm done with revs. Revs is not gonna get me over 407 mil in 24 hours. So I sold off all my gear and I've bought myself a budget neck setup. Don't talk to me about the skirt. Did I tell you guys, I completed all of the Grandmaster Combat achievements, so next would cost 30kc instead of 40. Worth it. Six hours of next in a medium-sized team. 16 people, there's a chance that I can get a drop and that'll boost me over 500 mil. Alright, I'm gonna save you a world of pain. I got no drops, I saw no drops, and I had no fun. Alright, the moment of truth, how much has been made in 24 hours? 181 mil. I'm actually happy with that. Even though it's mission failed. And we probably won't get him next time.